What I've seen in my own personal experience is that the more I let go, the more I'm able to see what I want actually come into my life. And sometimes it can be a little bit confusing because it's like, what exactly do we need to let go of? Like when I say a statement like, you have to let go to manifest, what exactly does that mean? Am I talking about letting go of disbelief in the manifestation? Am I talking about letting go of lack or negative emotions? Am I talking about letting go of attachment? What am I talking about? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video is what I mean exactly when I say a statement like you have to let go to manifest because I believe that there are certain things we do need to let go of and I also believe that perhaps some in my experience personally there's been a misinterpretation of what that even means and you know if anybody else has that misinterpretation I hope that this video brings more clarity to help you understand what that actually means like what is letting go how do we let go in the manifestation process and how do we let go specifically with the intention paradoxically to see what we want happen in our life we're going to bring these two things together in terms of that intention energy of knowing what you want but then letting go to also help that intention come into being that's what i'm saying this can be confusing sometimes how do we balance these things what are we talking about that's what we're going to be talking about in this video is what exactly i mean so if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So the first thing that I mean when I talk about you have to let go to manifest is attachment because here's the thing we live as humans a lot of the times not always unless you know what i'm about to share already deep in your heart and soul i think we all know this at some deep level essentially but we forget this truth which is that when we attach to something we create a lot of suffering for ourselves to cling on to something to attach our consciousness onto something and hold on to it with dear life is something we need to let go of to manifest. I've seen it happen time and time again. When I'm operating from my ego, when I really cling on to something, when I really fight, when I don't detach from the present moment. And when I say detach, I'm not talking about not being here now. I'm talking about being very clear of what's happening in this present moment, but having the knowledge and the consciousness to know that attaching to it is a waste of your energy. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your life energy to attach because the truth is that life is going to carry on whether we cling on to it or not. And our egos can try to cling on as much as we want to the relationship or to the money or to the opportunity or whatever is happening in your life. It, oh, I need to cling on to the good moments as much as possible and run away from the bad moments as much as possible, right? That's how the ego is hardwired. But the problem with this is that when we're operating from this level of consciousness, this first of all creates a very unpleasant experience of life. And of course, it pushes away all the things we want in our life. Because when you cling on, you're not allowing yourself to actually, this has been my experience. The more I cling on, I'm not even gonna attack you here. I've experienced this. The more I cling on to something and want something to be like, oh, I need to hold on. Like that's what the, the, the reason I'm using my hands like this is because the ego wants to grab onto everything. It's like, this is mine. It's like, like there's no use in that. And every single time, I kid you not, every single time, I've detached, I connected deeper to my heart, deeper to the present moment, deeper to what is right now, and I detached, the manifestation came into my life. 
whether it was you know some money that I needed or whether it was some specific kind of relationship business relationship another kind of relationship whatever kind of relationship you want right now <laughs> whatever relationships I needed everything I need everything I want comes my way when I detach I'm not talking about not taking actions here I'm talking about letting go of attaching even to the fact that we need to take action letting go of attaching to this reality like when I started my spiritual journey I wasn't even necessarily in it for manifestation I was in it just for peace that's what I started this path for because when I was younger so to speak <laughs> on my earlier and earlier along in my life I wasn't the kind of person to be grounded in my energy okay I was an overthinker okay overthinker and so my intention wasn't necessarily to manifest it was to get out of the hellhole that I was in and and what ended up happening was on the path to finding inner peace I figured out how to manifest my dream life like everything I want in my life flows in the money that I need whatever I need to be supported comes into my life only when I let go of attachment like I'm not kidding you like there's been many moments where I was really attached like this is gonna sound like a silly example I'll just share one with you that happened to me recently so recently I was showering okay and I really really wanted it's gonna sound silly the, the water just stopped being hot for like three days and I remember those three days I really was anxious I really was attached I was attached to the comfort of the warm water and it sounds like a silly little example but I think there was a divine and like this is just one example of just weird little things that happened in my life the more I wanted the water to be hot the more frustrated I was the more I couldn't accept what is it's like the water just stopped working it was cold and I was like sending emails to you know the the managers that like own this condo or whatever and all these things hap are happening and it's just like and then I, I realized that I turned it into a lesson I realized that I was attached to the hot water and I know it sounds like a silly example but I was taking hot water in the shower completely for granted completely for granted I think you just go on and have the hot water and then one day it's gone for three days just completely gone took it completely for granted okay and what ended up happening was I had to face the cold <laughs> this is why people do cold showers cold showers aren't comfortable and people do them for a very specific reason because what I realized is I was very attached to the warm water and the moment that I realized I had to accept this slight adversity and I saw how attached my ego was I didn't even get a response back from the manager but then miraculously as soon as I went back into myself and stop trying to control this situation the water just became hot out of nowhere like hot hot water just came back didn't have to call anybody didn't have to call any plumbers didn't have to even I didn't even get a response from the 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 woman the, the, the manager lady that like owns this condo or whatever and just it just it just happened it just and there's so many examples and this might sound like a silly little example but I if you're watching this video I'm very I'm willing to bet you've seen things like this happen in your life before where it's like the more we control things it's almost like some divine force like pushes those things away out of our life whether it's a person or whether it's something as silly as the hot water in your shower it just came back like magic so that taught me a lesson that I don't need to like if the good things in my life are here right now I can't even attach to the good things because to attach to the good things is actually me me not fully enjoying it because when you're attached to having that for example hot water if I'm thinking in my mind like oh god you know what if it gets cold again like what what if what if that issue happens again you see that's fear that's control that's attachment and I promise you if I was attached to those thoughts of oh what if it you know gets cold again something would happen in the universe where maybe that water would get cold again but now I've learned to be to enjoy the hot water to enjoy the blessings in my life but from a detached place 
from a place of non-attachment, the relationships I have in my life, the money that flows into my life, the blessings that come into my life every single day. I don't attach to them. I enjoy them with presence and detachment. And believe me, this is the key to manifestation. Don't be attached to the negative things in life, but also don't be attached to the positive things in life. You're gonna live in what I call a neutral space of consciousness, which is in neutrality. If you've ever seen that chart of consciousness, maybe I'll pull it up here for just a second. I don't often talk about this chart ever because it's just not something, it's a very valuable chart, but it's not something I talk about, just not for any particular reason. But this chart right here, you see there's neutrality. And the moment you get to neutrality, is the moment that you stop resisting things because you're in acceptance, I'll take it away now, this is exactly when you are gonna start to actually stop working so hard to manifest. You're still gonna take actions, but things are gonna come into your life, okay? So I definitely dragged this point a lot longer than needed, but one of the things you wanna let go of when it comes to the manifestation process is letting go of attachment. Attachment to your thoughts, attachment to your emotions, attachment to the negative, attachment even to the positive, because that's gonna to lead to suffering down the line and create an imbalance in the universal energies that might put that thing, because you're, there's too much importance. Like if you ever read, uh, what's like law, what's that book called? Law, like Transurfing, like Manifestation, it's, like, it's called the Law of Transurfing or something. I forgot the name of the book, it's Transurfing Reality or something like that. It's a very popular manifestation book. But nonetheless though, this book, I think Reality Transurfing, that's what it's called. Reality Transurfing. This book is you, when you put too much importance on something positive, you lose that thing. I was putting way too much importance on the hot water and so the universal energies took it out of my life. I'm not kidding you. I had a deep sense that like, like, like I, was do, I was creating this situation in my life with my own resistance. And the moment I had that insight, the water just became hot again. And so you want to be detached from everything, the positive and the negative. And in fact, you'll enjoy everything more and you'll see everything more as it is rather than filtering it through the concepts of your mind and of course your ego. Because all these things that I talk about are just what happens when you're living from an ego state of consciousness. And so the second thing you want to do, what you want to let go of to manifest is you have to let go of belief in fear. You, you would think that you just need to keep having more faith, keep having more belief, keep having more affirmations to manifest. And it is the case that like we need to have you know, good thoughts and have the right perspective on what we need to manifest and have the right faith. But like I've seen it so many times in my own life and with my clients and people trying to manifest, like it's not that them lacking faith is the issue. They have the faith, they have the belief. That's not necessarily their sticking point. Some people don't have faith, but a lot of people do. Some people don't have faith at all, but a lot of people do. And the ones that do, what I've noticed in my own life and with my clients and people is that the biggest problem they face when it comes to why they can't manifest is not that they don't have enough faith and enough belief that the manifestation's coming, it's that they unconsciously have too much belief in the fear of the things telling them that they're not going to manifest. This is extremely subtle because you might believe you want to manifest something and you have that belief, but are you believing in the parts of your mind that don't believe you can manifest? Are you unconsciously feeding the story around your fears? and why you're not able to manifest. Are you doing this in your life? The, the good question. The question is so good and it's such a powerful question because you might not even know if you're doing this. The paradox is that when we are unconsciously feeding into fears, is the, it's very important to consider that what I'm telling you here is that the, the key word in that statement is unconsciously. So you might have a story in your mind in your life right now around why you can't manifest something and you might not even be conscious of it. That is your block. That's what you need to let go of. You need to bring that to the, I'm not saying this is you in particular, but it could be the case. If it is you, then congrats, you made it to the right video and this is exactly what you might need to hear to finally 
manifest what you want. What you might need to do if this is you specifically, because I feel like this is a disservice not to share this if you're connected to me in this way in this present moment and you're receiving this message, is the thing to let go of is the mind created story that goes against your manifestation. So in other words, you don't need more belief, you need less belief in the stuff that's telling you you're not able to create your life the way you want. Less belief in the fears, in the anxieties, in the worries. I've had so many moments in my life where I was scared of something not working out and then one of the mentors in my life, one of the most powerful people in my life, one of my mentors asked me one question, do you have to believe in that thought? Do you have to believe in those emotions? And immediately in that moment, when you get asked a question like that in the midst of a sh of a of the ego creating, you know, a, a you know a show like a, I hate to be vulgar here, but like a shit show. <laughs> when you're when you're in that like a story, you're, you're consumed by the story of the mind. It's very important to ask yourself, what are you believing in? What are you sucked into that you don't need to be? And believe me, in those moments, you don't think you're sucked into something and you don't believe that you necessarily, like when somebody tells you, hey, you're believing in a story, it doesn't feel like a story, it feels like reality. It feels, no, this is the case. You'll fight for it, you'll defend it. You'll, your heart will want to manifest, yet your ego will come up with all the reasons as to why it's not possible. And when somebody gives you an alternate perspective, you will defend the position around why you can't create it, why? because you're attached to the story. Now, that's, that doesn't, I'm not saying this is necessarily you, but it could be the case. I've seen this happen in my own life, so don't take it as a personal attack. If this creates some emotion in you, it's like, oh, Francis, like that's, that's, you know, I feel like I'm being attacked in this video. I had this happen in my life too. It's not a personal thing when I say statements like this. It's a mind thing. It's like, it's like don't take it personally when you watch my videos and I get into this flow it's like, I'm not trying to attack anybody here. I'm bringing consciousness to the dysfunction of our mind, the collective human mind. I can't take it, I can't, I can't judge myself for doing it because it's not even my fault. It's just a constructed ego that can takes over our control sometimes. It sucks us into the show. It sucks us into the deception. And then before we know it, we actually see those fears manifest, not because we had the thoughts, but because we were attached and we believed in the thoughts. So the second step to this process in terms of understanding what I mean when I say you have to let go to manifest is to let go of the belief in the fears telling you you can't manifest the life that you really want to create. This is what we need to let go of. And the moment you really take in what I'm saying here, watch how divine manifestation happens in your life. I sound, with, I sound confident and I sound like I have a strong level of conviction when I say this because this is exactly what I've seen time and time and time and time and time and time again. And every single time I forget this, I have to re-remember the lesson that the ego is not the way to manifest. The ego only blocks things and creates a lot of suffering as well. And so the third thing to understand when it comes to what I mean when I say you have to let go to manifest is to let go of control. Now this is a very tricky one because when I say let go of control, I'm not saying to not take actions. Actions are an important aspect of the journey. In fact, what I've realized is that some people have a shadow around taking action. There's a negative connotation to action. Action is not negative. What's your relationship to action? Is action a hard thing or is action an easy thing? Or is it just neutral? Maybe that's for you to decide. But nonetheless, though, we're not going to be talking about that too much. What I will say, though, is that the more I try to control my emotions, the more I try to control my reality, the more I try to come from my ego and cling on and fight and, and manipulate people. And like, I don't manipulate people, but the ego unconsciously does it. I would never consciously manipulate anybody. But when you're operating from ego, that's what you do. You try to manipulate things to steal energy from people and get your needs met. And there's nothing really essentially universally wrong with this because it's just a survival mechanism of the ego. I'm not saying it's wrong or right or good or bad, but I think that there's a more, there's a more preferable way to do things in life and there's a more enjoyable way. 
which is to not control things with the ego, but to let the divine, let the divine create your manifestations for you. Because the more we try to use our egos to create stuff is the more, is the more that we create that resistance in our life. The more like, it's really interesting. I've seen a lot of things pop into my life when I least expect them, when I least expect them, when I've, when I've, when I've let go of all these things, when I let go of trying to control the outcome, it's like, then the manifestation comes. And by the time it comes, I already forgot. Like, it's like, you get to the point where you're like, ah, you know what? I can't take it anymore. I let go. I trust the divine. I, I allow myself to feel what I feel. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had an experience like this. You finally let yourself feel what you feel. Your heart has been calling for it. Your heart was calling you, speaking to you, not in your voice or in your emotions. That deeper intelligence that is within you was calling you the whole time to just allow life to be the way that it is. You finally let go of controlling your emotions, controlling your thoughts, controlling affirmation. You finally just sit with yourself and let the moment be. And then guess what? Maybe finally things start to roll and move forward again because you're letting the transformational process of life just happen. Life is going to process and unfold and transform. And you got to realize a lot of this work I found when it comes to manifestation is not about how many affirmations can you do, not how many things can you control. It's how much can you let go of the things that are stopping you from being in a state of consciousness where by default you have all the things you want come into your life. Because when people talk about affirmations and control, there's nothing wrong with affirmations, but sometimes people use affirmations in a way to cover up the deep insecurity. So they're actually reinforcing the lack in their life by using affirmations. Because let me ask you this, why, why do we need affirmations? Why? Well, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, but let's just consider this for a moment. Why are we not by default just already having dope thoughts and just feeling confident. Why do I have to control my mind so hard to try to feel some way? Why aren't we just by default, just awesome human beings with awesome thoughts, with love and compassion and joy and having things come to us? Do you really think that abundance is going to be when you finally have all the things, it's going to be like this struggle? No, it's it. It's your natural state of being to be in that awesome state of consciousness. So this process is so backwards because all I have to do now in my life, I'm at the point where I don't focus on controlling stuff. I just focus on doing the shadow work. What is shadow work? It's about feeling what you don't want to feel, feeling what you don't want to feel. Have you ever heard the statement, feel it to heal it? Have you ever heard it? If you can feel it, then you can heal it. It's because the things we're running away from, the things we don't want to see, is the very thing we need to focus on just for a little bit so we can let it go. This is where people that don't do the shadow work get confused. They're like, Francis, why would I bring attention and why would I focus on the things that I want to feel? I need to focus on what I want to feel to get what I want. But you see, when you're unwilling to look at the shadow, it's still there. You just haven't looked at it. So that shadow is still there. You can try to focus on all the good things all you want, but that shadow is still going to be in the background until you're finally willing to look at it. And then once you have the awareness, then the awareness is what allows you to let it go because you cannot let go of something that you did not first become conscious of. You cannot let go of something that you did not first become conscious of. I'm going to say that one more time. You cannot let go of something that you did not first become conscious of. So when you think that by focusing and bringing your attention to the lack and letting go of trying to control your emotions, for example, that there's a fear that comes up around, oh my gosh, I don't want to feel this because it's local manifestation. That's exactly sometimes the shadow work we need to do to finally let it go. And then you would have completed that part of your shadow. You've completed the past. You've done the inner work. And by the time you finally let go of trying to control it and you just sit with it and you allow it to be there, 
and you finally feel like, oh my gosh, this is how I feel about love. By allowing myself to feel what I feel. Surprise, surprise, here's the best piece of wisdom you'll ever hear in your life. Fighting your emotions has never been the answer. Congrats. Your heart knew it the whole time, but hearing it sometimes is a beautiful thing. Isn't that, uh, who, who would have thought, who would have thought that fighting life and resisting life was not the answer? Who would have thought? I hate, I hate to be that guy and communicate it in that way, but sometimes we need to hear that reminder. It's like, damn it, he's right. I, I, he's right. Like I, I need to hear it sometimes too. That's why I have my mentors. Fighting your emotions is not the solution. And by the time you finally accept it, then you start to finally feel better because you're not fighting. By the time you feel so good, by the time you surrender, by the time you forgot, by that point, you've already forgot that you wanted to manifest that thing. You're just focused on allowing and surrendering. Then there it is. There it is. And you weren't trying to control it. You just allowed it. This is the key. This has been the key in my life to manifest. What I just shared with you in this video has the potential to completely shift the entire timeline of your life. Your life could take two different paths. One where you control things with your ego, one where you align with the divine consciousness in your heart. And I do believe that the planet is headed in the direction of divine consciousness and heart alignment. So my invitation to you is to take what I said in this video not very seriously because you know you don't have to take it too seriously but because I don't like to make things too serious but sometimes I get into that consciousness state because I like it but see that your life has the potential to completely shift once we let go once we let go of all the things that are holding us back when we can let go of the baggage then we start to manifest then we start to see what we want and of course of course, we feel an immense and intense, extremely high level of peace in the process as well. So I sincerely do hope that this video gave you some value. Leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are and what you feel you got from this video because I do believe that this is a very powerful video and I would love to hear your thoughts in terms of what you got from it. So. That's all I have for this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation and make sure to hit that like button so more people can get access to this video because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And I want as many people as possible to know the source that they have within themselves to let go of the baggage and manifest what they want. It really does help the YouTube algorithm. So do me a favor and hit the like button so more people can definitely get the knowledge that they need to finally find inner peace and of course manifest what they want as the creators that they really are. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. And as always, have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.